Hello my good people. Welcome once again to my Sacks and Containers Garden. My name is Zorina Dominic and uh, I've decided to take you through my garden so that as a way of uh, inspiring you out there and uh, you can learn one or two things so that you can uh, start your own Sacks and Containers Garden within your compound and get some fresh vegetables and fruits so that is uh, one way of inspiring you out there and also passing my knowledge and skills to you this is a container plastic container i prepared it to plant my eggplant we have started producing a lot of fruits they are flowering each and every time plus the capsicum pili pili ho so this is a very easy way you can do to get your vegetables and the fruits this is a egg plant known as rafaia slender from east africa seed company so my good people this is an encouragement to you so that you can start your own garden. It is an easy thing just using containers and the sacks to get your vegetables. Come to this side, this is Amaranthus. It is growing very well, producing big leaves. Here, these are the beetroots. They are doing very, very, very well all the way up to this point. They have started producing big tubers, the ones that I'm going to use. And the other thing, you can also use these leaves as vegetables so they are they are very nutritious coming to this side this is uh, the black nightshade managu just prepared in this small container it's ready for harvesting today i'm harvesting it this is a uh, beetroot also the beetroot is known as detroit dark red from east africa said Kamban also here this is the fodok giant spinach growing in a very simple container i'll just pick some some leaves from each container and then I take to my kitchen, I enjoy my meals. To this point, these are the carrots. They are ready for harvesting. They are known as Nantes carrots. So even carrots can do well in sacks in the next sack here this is a giant beetroot intercropped with a capsicum the capsicum is producing big fruits So, this is something you can do in an easy way. Just preparing your sacks well and the soil, mixing with the chicken manure, and then you plant your favorite vegetables. This is also cereal producing 
very big branches and the leaves so for those people who like juices fruit juices you can use this as one of the ingredients of uh, those juices next here these are the black night shade also are doing very 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 well ready for harvesting so you can plant any vegetable in a, a sack or a container to this container for those who follow me in my youtube channel Rina Dominic you saw how I prepared this container for planting and so far so good this is the result I planted my capsicum pilipili ho known as California Wanda from East Africa seed company also and so far you can see how big the fruits are and to this side this is the kels These scales are known as after cal kel. This is the carrots also in this sack. Serally in just a simple container. The seedlings of serally in this small container as you can see. So if you want to plant them, you just come and pick the seedling and then you transplant into another container or another sack. So I'm trying to uproot one so that you can see how you can take and plant it. Oh yes, this is how you uproot and then transplant this seedling to another container or to another sack. So it's a good healthy seedling. So to this side, this is my spinach, the four dog spin, giant spinach. they are doing great so far have done a simple drip irrigation or a capillary irrigation use of a container and the cotton threads so as you can see the water is dripping using capillary style that is it takes the water, the thread takes the water from the container, then it drips to the ground or to the soil. Threads are dropping or dripping the water one by one. That is the method, irrigation method that I've uh, applied in my sacks and containers garden. This is the seedlings of Fodo Oak Giant Spinach or Swiss Card. 
I prepared them in this symbol container. When they are ready, I'm going to transplant them from this container to other sacks and containers. They are doing great. To this side, this is a coriander, green aroma. I also planted them in this symbol small sack. To the other side, this is the eggplant in a sack. It has produced very big fruits and the very many which I'm going to use in my kitchen. So my good people, thank you very much for following me. I request you to subscribe my YouTube channel, Orina Dominic, and be blessed.